how many bit strings of length 7 are palindromes. So again, let's keep in mind that bit strings consist of binary digits, 0 or 1. And a palindrome is a string that reads the same from the left to the right and the right to the left, like the word race car. So for this example, we are being asked to fill seven positions from a set of two. Now, thinking about our first position, we know that there exists two choices for this first position, zero or one. Now, keeping in mind that this is a palindrome, that means that the seventh position must match the first position, meaning that the seventh position has one choice. Now, going to our second position, we know that the second position also has two choices, zero or one. And again, keeping in mind that this is a palindrome, we know that the sixth position must match the second position, meaning that the sixth position has one choice. Now, moving to our third position, we know again that the third position has two choices, zero or one. And because this string must be a palindrome, the fifth position must match the third position, meaning that the fifth position has one choice. Now, the wild card here is position number four. But keep in mind that even though it's our wild card, there's still only two choices for that position, zero or one. So by the rule of products, this is telling us that there are two to the fourth or 16 different bit strings of length seven that are palindromes. Now, alternatively, we could think about this by splitting the bit strings into the sum of two different cases. So the first case would be when position number four is fixed at a zero. And the second case is when position number four is fixed at a one. Now, in both of these cases, the first three bits must match the last three bits. So each case is giving us a total of two cubed or eight different possibilities. So we can think about the total number of bit strings of length seven that are palindromes as being equal to eight plus eight or 16. 